Hi, this is Yogi Chaudhary and today uh, I think you all are well and today I will start the class for computer basic computer system. So uh, now I want to discuss about the computer system workability and how computer system works. Uh, but before uh, before telling about the computer system workability. First of all, I want to say about the computer. What is computer? Computer is an electronic device that this is the computer system basically. This is the basically computer system. Okay, you all know that. Everyone can see this. And uh, so what is computer system? Means what is the definition of the computer system? Computer system or computer is an electronic device that performs that performs arithmetical shifting and logical operations. Computer is an electronic device. Every digital devices are known as electronic device. Means computer system also an digital device. So computer is an electronic device that performs arithmetical, logical and shifting operations. So what is arithmetical operations? Arithmetical operations means subtraction, addition, division and multiplication are known as arithmetical operations. And what are the logical operations? And or not. These are all known as logical process. As for example, I can say, suppose a computer should perform addition and subtraction both. Means, suppose computer need to perform a operation, perform and calculation. So, for this calculation, computer need to perform addition and subtraction respectively. So, what is the actual thinking? Actual thinking is the computer need to perform addition of person first, then computer need to perform subtraction of person. Means, mm. suppose here actual theme is the here and should be used. That means the computer need to perform addition and also need to perform subtraction then the main output will be appeared. So here and is the logical operation. And or not. You all know that. And or not. And also and or not concept should be used in our real life. And as the last question, I will say about the shifting operation. What is the shifting operation? Suppose seeing these all cells. This is one cell, this is another cell, this is third cell, this is fourth cell, then this is fifth cell. This cell is blank. Suppose here I want to, here I want to perform the, here I want to perform the fifteen person. So if you want to insert six, if you want to insert six here in this cell, so what you have to do? For that, you need to perform shifting operations. This number should be shifted to this cell. Means, means 4 is shifted to this cell, 3 is shifted to this cell, 2 is shifted to this cell, and 1 is shifted to this cell. 4 is shifted to this cell, 3 is shifted to this cell, 2 is shifted to this cell and 1 is shifted to this cell. So what happened? This cell is blank one. If you shift all of the numbers to the next cell, then this cell will be blank. So by shifting operations, I have blank this cell. I can blank this cell. Then I can insert 6 on this cell. So you all understood what I want to say, actually what is shifting operations, I think all of you understand, okay. So, next point is the 
This is the structure of a total computer system. So, for the computer, this is known as monitor. That means that this is the display of the computer. All operations, all performed operations are displayed on here. Okay? This display device is known as monitor. And suppose you want to write something into the computer. So, but we can't write anything into the computer by pen. If you want to write something into the computer, then you need to use this device. This device is known as keyboard. Suppose you want to write, uh, welcome to India. Then you need to use this device. This and the name of this device is the keyboard. Okay. And also keyboard is a input device because you put something into the computer by typing something. Okay. So for typing we can use the keyboard and also after typing if you want to save your text then you need to click on save option okay for clicking into any option we can use the mouse this device is known as mouse okay this device is known as mouse mouse is used for keyboard is used for typing something into the computer mouse is used for point something into the computer Suppose you want to point the save option, suppose you want to point the open option, suppose you want to play a song, so you, you must need to point the song first. So pointing anything into the computer, you must use a mouse. Okay? And at last I want to say about the main device. This device is known as CPU. And the full form of CPU is Central Processing Unit. The full form of CPU is Central Processing Unit. Central Processing Unit means the main device of the computer. Means this device is the brain of the computer. Means this device has the brain of the computer computer okay so so this device is known as brain of the computer without this device computer is nothing means every operation and every performance should be done by this device actually complete brain should be included into this so this device has three parts. One part is ALU. So what is the full form of ALU? ALU, the full form of ALU is arithmetical and logical unit. The full, that means the CPU has three parts. One part is ALU, means arithmetical logical unit. Arithmetical and logical unit. This unit or this part should perform all arithmetical operations, means mathematical. Arithmetical means addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. operations. Logical means you all know that you all know you all know that what are the logical operations. Computer also have the concept of and or not. This and or not concept should be performed by logical logical part okay and all logical and arithmetical operations performed by this unit okay and in this point I also say about the register unit register unit is a unit this unit should store any value should this unit should store any value for minimal for minimal time. This that means that suppose you want computer have computer actually suppose you think computer performing something. Computer performing something. 
so computer need a space to perform anything so this space should be given by the register unit so for few for few time it should be stored by the register unit then after performing all of the operations the register should be transferred into the memory for few time the data should be stored into the register unit that is the in the performing time computer should store all of the data into the register unit okay it should store the store any performable data for few minutes as control unit this is the main unit these all are the part, part of central processing unit i already told you okay so cu what is cu cu known as control unit what is control unit uh, control unit what is control unit control unit is the brain of the computer it actually to so actually this is the main actually this is known as brain of the computer this should perform all of operations into the computer and this should control all of the operation of the computer that's why it is known as control unit at last point i want to say about the memory what is the memory before discussing about the memory i just want to say something what are this this is known as input device means keyboard by keyboard we can type something and we can type something that means the we can type something that means the it this by keyboard we can put any data and also by mouse we can point any data these both are known as input device because both of devices help us to input something into the computer and here monitor should display all of the operations suppose you want to perform any calculation of persons this should be shown into the monitor display that's why it is known as output device means any output should be displayed on here and also another output device is the printer device suppose you have designed something by the computer or you have um, you have something you have typed some letters into the computer so if you want to print the letter then it is shown as a output also if you want to print the design through the printer then also it should be shown as a as an output that's why printer is known as output device means display device monitor display device is the output device printer is also output device because both all all of these types of device shown the output to us okay next i will discuss about the memory what is memory memory me what is memory memory is a storage device memory is a storage device means memory is a storage device that can store some data memory is a storage device that can store some data suppose uh, you have writing a letter you have written a letter so uh the minute you are typing a letter after typing you must need to save this letter for future use and the same letter should be stored into this memory because memory is the storage device memory should be divided into two types one is primary memory and another is the secondary memory so what is primary memory primary memory is the memory computer currently performing anything into the primary memory primary memory can't save anything for future use and secondary memory is the permanent memory because if you save something for future use then it should be stored into the secondary memory means computer performing something means computer doing something currently 
then that should be performing into the primary memory and after suppose after uh, you have done something next what you have to do you need to save this for future use that should be stored into the secondary memory i think you all know. i think you all understood this what i want to say actually okay next point is the primary memory has two types one is ram another is rom one is ram primary memory has two types ram rom means primary memory has these two types one is ram another is rom Full form of RAM is random access memory. Primary memory has two types. Okay, so one is RAM, another is ROM. RAM is random access memory. Another is read-only memory. Random access memory, read-only memory. Random access memory means every running operation should be done into the ram every running operation of the computer should be done in ram and rom is the is like a permanent memory okay every operation should stored into the rom suppose computer need to perform an addition operation so how addition operation should be performed this should be written into the already written into the rom computer can read the process of of the operation suppose computer should perform addition operations so how computer should perform addition operations so this process should be already written into the rom computer can read all of the process to performing the addition operations then computer can perform the addition operations on the ram when computer is performing something you know all in on the ram all running operation should be happening in the ram and read only memory only stores the process of any operation that process should be read by the computer before performing it so i think you all of understood what i want to say and at at the last point i want to say about the secondary memory this you all know you you have you all know about the hard disk so hard disk can store anything permanent permanent concept that is the uh, suppose you want to save something suppose you have designed something uh, using the photoshop or any other software after completion of design you must need to save it after saving this design after save this design it should be stored into the secondary memory and permanently and also that's why you can say secondary memory as permanent memory okay so i think you all understood why i want to say and i also think you all enjoy this class and next class will come quickly and okay thank you